Virgo. What's poppin', cousin? What's poppin'? It's all the life of a Virgo for April the 1st through the 15th. Hmm. Hmm. Are we working on recreating ourselves? Realizations? Thinking back, 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 back when? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, boo hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful video on YouTube that can assist you better without cussing, okay? Because see me, I'm going to do that. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we do guts. We share, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten, we love one another, y'all. We one big, happy, dysfunctional family. Returning subscribers, family, what's popping? Why this is my second time doing y'all video? Why I got all the way to 22 minutes and 23 seconds, damn it. And I, this was two days ago. I got so mad that I said, you know what? I'm not going to, look, you know, I'm, I'm going to get my shit together. But I, um, I felt the energy even when meditating on your energy today. Crazy part about it that I did that days ago, and you guys pretty much got the same message when I actually uh, reshuffled and everything today. So we're gonna get into it. This was for, uh, thank you all. Sorry y'all, but my likes, the shares, the subscribes. I really appreciate it. I truly do. Uh, this is not a personal reading. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found below within the description. Um, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Virgo for the half. For the first half of April 2019, yes, I am doing mid-month, y'all. I had family things, um, health-related things, a um, few things to work out. Get, you know, get all the damn kinks out. But I'm back, okay? So we rocking, all right? So we're going to start off with your intuitive messages for the month of April, all right? So for my beautiful vertigos, y'all, y'all be having me working. I'm like, I feel like I'll be in school again. The devil, the hell. All right, for Virgo, what I got for April, I got self mastery, thankful for the lesson, elevation, catalyst, forgiveness, releasing, detox, soul connections, travel, unexpected windfall, shadow self, new love, patience, dreams. Realizations, synchronizations, trust, health, new vision, ancestors, resurrection, business growth. Come on. Yes, God. Finalization, past life. All right. So, Virgo, let's talk about it. All right. Your angel messages for the month. Sorry, y'all. Make sure this incense don't burn these people's shit. Because, you know, when you're traveling, y'all know it's something like a butterfly. Be a little bit of here, a little bit of there, a little bit everywhere. Because Mocha's going Mocha's gonna to live her life. Okay? So, with that said, the angel message that you guys got was life review. Your message comes from Archangel Jermio. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced, okay? So when I was actually shuffling on the, uh, shuffling or in the pre-shuffle, I kept hearing, um, I can't do it by myself. I can't do it by myself. I can't do it by myself. A lot of you all, this could be your energy or your partners. I definitely feel like some of you guys are going to be coming out of this codependent place for the month of April. I feel like whatever it is that you're codependent on, whether it was substance, there's a sense of a detox and a spiritual life, a spiritual release that's happening. And for some of you all, it is a bit uncomfortable. It could definitely affect the way that you're communicating in the month of April. I just really, really, really ask that all of you all hold your temper, cousin. Don't have your ass in the back of that damn police car because you wants to pop off okay understand that if you ain't got no damn bail money no extra extra don't pop off okay before you think about the pop think about the pay okay and walk away walk away and tell them fix it won't he do it fix it okay you was touched by an angel today shawty because you know but sometimes as we especially as we continue to ascend understand that we will be place in this position where we will face even different faces with 
you know, the same spirits that possibly triggered the tr triggered the hurt or triggered the abandonment or triggered, you know, those deeply rooted things that we're healing from during this time. This retrograde in Pisces has been quite the intense one because it is really it is really illuminating y'all our shadow self. You know, I've had my moment. Um, a lot of us have had our moment. You know, it's not about, you know, denying or saying, okay, well, that's not what the case was. That that's not, it's about learning from it. You get what I'm saying? Learning from it. You can't learn from some shit that you're not willing to recognize. When you can catch yourself and, and, and catch that flow of you finna fuck up, you finna, you finna fall head first. Oh, whoa. Say, I've been here before. And when I was here before, it was only I, me and God. They got myself out the mud, me, God, and my angels, you know, so I'm not going to put myself back in this place because I work my ass off to grow from it, learn from it, and use that energy toward my own benefit in ascending and helping others. You get what I'm saying? So it's about realization, recognition, you know, and acceptance. And nobody's perfect. Progress, not perfection, okay? So let's jump into your spirit message for the month. Some of you all, okay, during this month, again, self-mastery, all right? Some of you all may be, um, you're, you're needing to, spirit is saying you needed to get outside more. Some of you all, you may be, you may have already started coming from uh, the month of March into April, but some of you all, there's a focus, y'all, on the self. OK, and really, really, really focusing on the self, you're kind of going into this new space for some of you all. This is about a heart chakra activation. OK, or some soulmate union. OK, that was a catalyst to what the, I'm sorry. That was a catalyst to opening your heart to receive love and not from a place of fear. And for some of you all, you're kind of pulling back during this time and working on yourself. You're going to be in this meditative place where you're only, you know, only accepting loving vibrations into your life. Some of you all may be seeing these white birds, okay, as signification of purity, rebirth, reform, renewal. Some of you all may be also thinking about gardening or gardening, gardening, what the hell, gardening or planting flowers near your home. Some of you all may also have a connection to fairies during this time. And it has something to do with um, with the star structure, some type of like star alignment. For some of you all, you could be going back to school during this time for something having to do with like um, marketing, speaking, public speaking, but pre presenting something. Or some of you all could be learning that, researching, researching, uh, using your time of the damn self productively, but also in a way that is going to move you towards purpose. Some of you all, you're in this place of realization because I'm hearing some of y'all don't really know how to be by yourself. Only thing you've known is to be in relationships. And for some of you all, you've kind of, you, you're coming to this realization that You've given so much to others that you realize that, you know, damn, I've really been selfish with myself in the midst of this shit. I mean, I've given, 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 given. And now that this person is gone, because I definitely feel like something is releasing. There was a releasing. OK. Some of you all um, during the month of April, first half is going to be some of you all. You're coming to a realization that you need to have a conversation with someone or there will be a conversation with some type of father figure. This could also be someone, um, easily be someone of like legal counsel as well. Some of you all could be going through a divorce or going through a separation where there was tied assets or some of you all are really needing to focus on the self or you feel as if you're losing yourself into another who's focused on their own stability and what it is that they want. There's this energy here of needing to Compromise, but first and foremost, be 100% loyal to the self first. Some of you all are coming to the realizations after doing this, after going into this place of reflection, after going into this place of um, an internal meditative state. I feel like some of you all are going to be coming to the realization that maybe the, the maybe the foundations of the no trust in relationships or some type of like attachment to codependence had to do with some form of like abandonment or lack and this could come from a father figure this could also be the father of your children easily 
But I feel the energy of this being more your father. Some of you all are going to have a massive ass download that is going to move you towards your path and showing you what is the next move, how to make your next move your best move as far as moving towards abundance going forward. Some of you all, the color red and the color green is going to be very significant to you. Red, represent, uh, blah, blah, blah. red representing that royalty, green representing that healing, uh, yet, that healing yet abundance. Red is going to be the color that draws, that draws, uh, pretty much it draws abundance to you. Shit, I believe that shit red turn heads. <laughs> y'all, look here. Don't get me fucking started, okay? I'm trying to behave my damn self and, and be better about this shit. Because the inner kid and me just want to jump right now. It's Aries season, damn it. I'm excited. Damn Rams over there probably cussing my ass out. But I'm sorry, Rams, if you cross watch it, baby. I'm coming. Y'all the only sign I'm going live with because it's our birthday. Virgos, you know, we we turned up and cut up on y'all for y'all birthday. Okay? I love me. I love me and Virgo. Y'all my baby. Virgo men, I love y'all. We can't date though. I'm being a back with police car. Look, okay? Let's not talk about that part. But that's a part of my shadow. Get to know your shadow. My shadow side is, this is my shadow side. Y'all come off so sweet. So innocent. Piss me off though. I will set some shit ablaze. And that's something that I'm still working on, okay? Nobody's perfect, which is why I find myself being more so introverted. But I'm also learning how to compromise with being around people. I've always been um, one that was a bit introverted, you know. Uh, Virgo, you guys love people. People naturally love you. They love being around your aura. I'm an Aries. People love that with me, too. However, um most Virgos have this fear of being abandoned, just like most Aries have this fear of being betrayed. So it's about things are coming to the surface. And I'm using that, for example, to say this. Things during this time in the month of April are going to be surfaced. Understand that these moons are intense. This new moon in Aries is going to be, it's a dark one. It's very intense. It's going, if nothing else have illuminated your damn dark side and dark aspects of the self and the people around you, it's a massive ass realization that's going to happen. But that realization has to start from within you. So some of you guys could be secluding yourself during this time, working on um, your movements forward, which is ultimately going to attract you. A soul. Your soul. Your soul. A balance and a partnership. Your soulmate. Life partner. For some of you all, this is going to give you a newfound stability on how to move things forward and balance things in your love life when it comes to um, your current relationship. For those of you who are single, spirit is trying to open your heart back up, okay, from not, not from a place of fear, but from a place of acceptance. Because a lot of us say, oh, yeah, I'm ready for new love. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. But the first time... You know, someone does something to trigger. And, and understand that spirit will send someone first to trigger your shadow side to show you. But are you, though? For really, really, though? For real? Because you may still have an aspect of possessiveness within you. You may still have that fear of abandonment. So this person, for some of you all, some of y'all, and this, I feel like this could have been someone who moved away, Okay. For some of you all, this is someone who moved away, Spirit says. For some of you all, this is a relationship that was never let go. For some of you all, this is your inner child actually healing because you've just been using work as a cloak or as a band-aid to mask your emotions. And Spirit is saying, feel all of them, baby. Let me get that up at you. Feel all of them. I, this light fucking sucks, but you see this lady down here? With all this alchemy behind her with this butterfly, simplify, literally signifying her newness. For some of you all, some of you all may have um, some pool to learn some type of ancient history or regarding dragons of some type of prof uh, prophetic pro prophecy around dragons. Some of you all who that is who that is for. You could also have a Virgo moon or a Virgo rising. Strong emphasis on the moon. But some of you all, there's this needing to purge, truly purge. Fuck what the next person have to say. About how you feeling about what? Truly purge. One second, y'all. So many distractions. Oh, that's right. I just knocked on the door. Oh, goodness. 
child when you travel. Goodness. When you travel. Jeez. You guys know, um, I don't know if you know, but I've really been thinking about, and sorry about that, y'all. I've really been thinking about um, kind of going from state to state and having like events now. Y'all know if I do that, I'm going to have to actually start charging some type of, um, some type of like, I want to put together events for some type of like meet and greets, okay? So that we can do these events and meet each other in person. Like I really want to chill with my soul family. And a lot of you all are really, really needing to ask yourself, you know, during this time, what is it that? I want to do what matters to me. Where have I been to prevent me going back to that space? Let me become in tune with my feelings because for some of you all, the issue in the soulmate relationship or the issue when it comes to your partnerships is the fact that you keep attracting yourself in another. They're merely reflections of you. And so when you do that self work, you do that work. We are what we attract. So you get that tenfold and someone that is willing to share you with you. Think about that. Okay. So let's get it. Check on this love. Spirit, what messages do you have? My beautiful brother. Someone rising in Venus. Some of y'all are thinking about moving. It's just up, ooh, excuse me. Up and moving. Completely. Is saying go for it because it's actually you feel that way for a reason. And it's actually because your blessing is in the place where you think about moving changes through the mutable sign, the interchangeable. Here, please show me what it is that my Virgos can expect for the first half of April in love. Please show me. Show me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys are feeling um a bit of lack. Some of you guys are, it feels like this energy of being in suspense, okay? Some of y'all could be waiting for someone to leave someone else, okay? Or someone, some of you guys could also be, um, some of you all could also be intuitively, um, some of y'all could be telepathically connected to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you or this other person has some form of like an abandonment issue, and for some of you all, you're into intuitively, you've been feeling like this person is coming back. I feel like for some of you all, this person is coming back with passion, okay? But for some of you all, they're still coming back with the same half-assness and, and, and wanting to move slow or kind of being in and out with their damn love, ultimately because they haven't fully healed. For some of you all, this person could have left you out in the damn cold or this person could have actually left you behind chasing material things like money, okay? For some of you all... um, some of y'all just could involve a, a, a Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, this person could have made you feel as if you weren't. I don't know why I'm hearing sexually. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go there because I hear it. I'm hearing sexually attractive. Okay, This person made you feel as if you weren't enough. For some of you all, you could have actually moved away or some of y'all are going to be moving away from um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person has been in and out of your life. Yes, there is good sex with this person, I see. However, this person still haven't got their shit aligned. They haven't got their shit together. For some of you all, it could be finances that is preventing you all from actually having a stable offer. Um, a stable offer or a stable connection that's coming in with Capricorn towards Virgo or with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I just feel like with that particular connection, again, there's passion, but somebody's focused on money and somebody needs love. Somebody want money, somebody need love. So there's a clash and compromise of what really matters and what where the value structure is around the relationship, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, if you're dealing with a water sign, you could have left this person behind or like vice versa, take it high, take it high resume, y'all, um, due to somebody having a drinking problem. Some of y'all are very, very, very intuitive. Some of y'all, some of you guys um, want to start something new with the water sign, but this person could have a wife or a husband that they have to move away from first. For some of you all, this is definitely a Leo, okay? I see this money, y'all. The coin looks good for the month of April for a motherfucking Virgo. If you if you actually move if if you're actually doing what it is that you love, okay. 
For some of you all, there could be a Leo coming back that wants to offer you something solid, offer you something stable, okay? Hmm. Offer you this love. Y'all, this is some y'all, this is a great month for the month of Virgo. But it's you got you guys are gonna have to get out of this mental anguish. I definitely feel like some of you guys are oh y'all thinking. Y'all think too damn much. I'm surprised y'all fucking heads haven't exploded. Some of you all, this could involve, okay, a little bit of everybody is here. I don't see as much fire. I do see if you're communicating with a fire sign, I feel like, again, this person, this person is very passionate about you. For some of you all, this person loves you. However, they want to move things slowly because some of y'all, this person could actually be um, a fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. I feel like the issue is someone is very stuck in their ways. This could be you or your partner. But I feel like there's this sense of, like I said, anticipation. Like you or the other person could definitely be sitting around waiting for something to happen or waiting for shit to hit the fan because there's this sense of indecisiveness, okay? Or waiting for some type of truth to be unveiled. I do see in the month of April there will be the, there will be some truth unveiled about, a, uh, about an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person communicates very childishly. This person is indecisive, okay? And I feel like this person is kind of in their head about a situation that you guys both know that you need to end because it's not allowing you to truly grow. Because for some of you all, you belong, you belong via faith and spirit to a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Where things are not getting off the ground. Because you or this other person is feeling abandoned or left out or feeling as if there's not enough. I feel like for those of you who are dealing with earth signs, Capricorn towards Virgo, this person can be younger than you or you, you, you're, you're, an also, you're also an earth sign. So you can be younger than the other person. I definitely feel like with the fact that I got the king and queen of pentacles here, if you're dealing with an earth sign, the reason why things are not moving the way that they should be is because Somebody ain't stood up for their damn self and set up no damn boundaries and told somebody how the fuck they feel. They just was just being quiet, going with the flow. But sometimes when you going with the flow of that damn ver with the, with the flow of that damn current Virgo, you belong on the earth. That shit will drown you, drown you. Do you understand? Don't drown out here trying to go. Don't drown out here trying to be somebody else's motherfucking uh, somebody else's float support. For some of you all who are dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again, I have two counterparts here. I have the King and Queen of Pentacles. I got the King and Queen of Wands. So I definitely feel like you could also be going into business or talk, uh, talking about going into business with your partner, especially if they're a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which will bring a lot of abundance. I feel things will move slowly, but somebody is kind of indecisive about it indecisive about it and they're not communicating the fact that they don't want to fuck if things don't work out with their money because somebody got a trust issue or if things don't work out with the love they don't want to fuck the money up period there I, yeah i said it yeah i said it babe so someone is you guys someone is already assuming during this time the worst before they even live the fucking experience because they're living in the past because they have not yet healed I definitely see coin looks good. Some of y'all going to have some great sex in the month of April. Some of y'all possibly having some great sex in the month of April. Y'all know I'm a spiritualist. We don't stay on the PG-13. Sometimes we get rated R in this bitch. Okay? Yeah. Some of you all need to make a decision. Either you or someone in your energy. This could easily be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius that has to possibly make a decision between you as well as another fire. You, yourself, and another fire sign. This could easily be of the Virgo woman who has to make a decision between possibly three fucking people. The fire sign who brings her life all of this excitement and passion, which is of earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo who can give her this stable offer who she possibly already have children with or some type of family structure. But she's bored there. She or he, take it how it resonates, y'all. Or, this person can be with the water sign, where you guys can heal together. Because if you're dealing with the sign with, with the sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, intuitively, you already know that this person is coming forth towards you. But when they come, to for, come forward towards you, for some of you all, they're going to be broken. 
regarding some truth that could have to do with children. I definitely feel like this person is full of love, but they're going to be freshly dealing with some hurt. Okay. So you guys are going to be have to be gentle with yourself and don't overextend yourself to somebody else's situation because you don't know how long they ass has been running from it or what the hell they did last summer for some of y'all. Don't overextend right now. Self-care and surrender. OK, that's my advice for Virgo. Self-care, surrender. If you're dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, again, like I said, I feel like this person, there's, there, there needs to be a conversation of truth and clarity had about why things are moving so slow. And it definitely has to do with someone. And some of y'all, this person has not possibly been able to sleep. Indecisive. Is this my truth or no? Do I want love or do I still want to play a little bit before I just ultimately sign a line of commitment? And I feel like you guys are really needing to make a decision. Make a decision on where it is that you want to invest your energy in the month of April. Okay? So, this is what I have for you guys in love. For my Virgo's cousins, for the 1st to the 15th, y'all know I'll be tied to the party, but I'm trying to roll them on out. You guys, I send you all many blessings, peace, love, prosperity. Namaste, y'all. Bye, booze.